In this video, I'll show you how to display a bunch of descriptive stats on a column by only using a couple of mouse clicks. And make sure to stick to the end because you'll be able to apply this tool that I'm about to show you to any column that you want to analyze in your own time. As a demonstration, I'll analyze the Big Mac prices from McDonald's. So I'll put the download link to the Kaggle data set in the description below somewhere. So you could follow along with me if you want. The first thing that we have to do is enable the data analysis feature, which is a really useful tool in Excel. So I'm gonna jump over to my screen. First, you gotta click on file, and then on the left-hand side near the bottom, you should see a button that says options. I think my screen gets cut off a bit, but if you click on that, it's gonna open a new window. And from here, you have to click on add-ins. And near the bottom, you'll see something that says Excel add-ins. And next to that, there's a button that says go. So you have to click on that and then make sure to check the option that says analysis tool pack and then click on OK. So after you've done that, we're going to check out the data analysis feature and see what it shows us. So you have to go to the data ribbon and then on the top right hand corner, you got to click on the button that says data analysis. And this is going to show you a bunch of analysis tools that Excel will automatically do for you. But in this video, I'm just going to focus on descriptive statistics. So make sure to click on that and then click on OK. And now we got to fill out this window together. Since I want to analyze the prices of all the Big Macs in the data set, I need to use a column that has all the prices in USD currency. And remember, you could do whatever column you want to do, but you need to make sure that the values in your column are numerical values or else you're going to run into a problem. Anyways, for the input range, I'm just going to select all of column F because that has all the Big Mac prices in USD. So just click on the first cell in column F and then do control shift down. That's going to select everything in that column. And over here where it says grouped by, you don't have to change anything because it's already, we already want it to be grouped by the columns, not the rows. And make sure that you have the labels in first row option selected because in our input range over here, you can see that we included the first cell in the column, which is the column header. So if we don't select this option, then we're going to run into a problem. And over here, it gives you a bunch of options of where you want the descriptive statistics to be displayed. I'm just going to put it in a new worksheet and you can specify the name. I'm just going to call it Big Mac prices stats. You can name it whatever you want. And finally, you have to select on this option that says summary statistics and click on OK. OK, we're almost done here. All we have to do now is analyze the output that Excel just spit out. So over here is the descriptive statistics in the new worksheet. And if you want to expand column A a bit to see the full name of each part, then hover over between columns A and B and then double click it. This is automatically going to expand it for you. And you can see the full name for each of the parts. Just by quickly glancing at the output over here, you can see that the average price of a Big Mac in this data set was $3.57. The most common Big Mac price, which is also known as the mode, was $3. And the most expensive Big Mac price in this data set was $11.25, which is pretty expensive just for a burger. And finally, the standard deviation was $1.42, which tells you that the, the price of a Big Mac in this data set typically varies by about $1.42 from the average price of a Big Mac of $3.57. All right, that's all I got for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And as always, make sure to smash that subscribe button if you wanna see more useful tools in Excel. And if you're watching this part of the video, then you might like this video over here, which is gonna walk you through three simple steps to make a linear regression model in Excel. So yeah, hopefully I see you in that one. And thanks for watching.